This is part 120 of SQL Server tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss if it's always possible to reverse what a pivot operator has done using the unpivot operator. First, let's answer this question. Is it always possible to reverse what a pivot operator has done using unpivot operator? No, not always. If the pivot operator has not aggregated the data, then you can get your original data back using the unpivot operator, but not if the data is already aggregated. Let's actually prove this with examples. On the left, we have a table. Notice we have got two different sales agents selling in two different countries, David and John selling in India and US. Notice here within this table, we have a row for every country. Now what we want to do is convert these country rows into columns as you can see in the result set right here. The easiest way to do that is by using pivot operator. So let's convert these country rows into columns. We have that same table right here, TBL product sales. So what do we want within our result set? We want sales agent, a column for India, and a column for US. So the select list is going to contain those columns, sales agent, column for India, and a column for US. Now, do we already have those two columns in TBL product sales table? No, we don't. Where are those columns going to come from? They're going to come from the pivot operator. So I'm going to apply the pivot operator. With the pivot operator, we specify an aggregate function. So I'm going to use the sum aggregate function. So we want to aggregate the sales amount column. Okay. And what is the column that we want to pivot? We want to pivot the country column. So for country in, so what are the column values that we want to pivot? India and US. The column is country and within that we have India and US. Those are the values that we want to pivot. So for country in India, US. And let's give this an alias. Let's call this pivot example. All right. So now when we execute this, notice that we get the pivoted data. Okay. So pivot operator converting rows into columns. Now, on this, if we apply the unpivot operator, will I be able to get my original data back? So on this result set, if we apply the unpivot operator, we'll be able to get this original data back. The answer is yes in this case, because if you look at the sum aggregate function that this pivot operator is using, it's not actually aggregating any data so whatever data we have here, we have the same data right here. So David India 960, David India 960, David US 520, so 520, and John India 970, and John US 540. So data is not aggregated. So if we apply the unpivot operator along with this pivot operator, we should be able to get our original data back. Let's actually prove that with an example. So now I'm actually going to make a copy of this. So I'm going to give this an alias. So let's call this P. And on this, I'm going to spe specify a select clause. So when we unpivot this, we should get this original data back. That means these are the columns that are going to be present in our original um, result set. So sales agent, country, and sales amount. So that I'm, those three columns I'm going to specify within our select list. Sales agent, country, and sales amount. From, so here is the pivot result set. On this, I'm going to apply the unpivot operator. So unpivot, what do we want to unpivot? Sales amount for country, right? And what are the two different columns that we want to, column values that we want to unpivot? India and US. So for country in India and US. So this pivot operator has pivoted country column and those are the values and this unpivot operator is going to unpivot country column and those are the values. So we should be able to get our original data back. And let's give this an alias. Let's call this as unpivot example. All right. So let's execute this query and see if we will get our original data back. 
look at that now I get the original data back so in this case we are able to get our original data back because the sum aggregate function that we have used with the pivot operator it did not perform any aggregation now let's look at an example of when we'll not be able to get um, the original data back when we use the unpivot operator now at the moment if you look at this table TBL product sales we don't have any duplicate entry you know when we take sales agent and country um, now what I'm going to do is introduce a duplicate row so here we have another entry for David and India so let's execute this and let's execute our select statement now so if you look at sales agent David and country India we have two entries one entry has a sale amount of 960 and another entry had a sale amount of 100 as you can see here so now when we execute our pivot query that we have written before what it's going to do is aggregate the sales amount for India country so when we add 100 to 960 what do we get we get 1060 so David made a sale of 1060 for India okay so it has aggregated that now when we apply the unpivot operator on this result set will we get our original data back let's actually look at that in action before that let's execute our pivot query right here so now when we execute this look at what we get we get the aggregate data for David India you know so now if we apply the unpivot operator let us see if we get our original data back now before we do that let's execute this query from TBL product sales table notice how many rows we have we have five rows here right but when I execute the query that has both pivot and unpivot operators look at what I'm going to get I'm only getting four rows let's actually do this let's execute this select query and our pivot query together okay all right so in the bottom you see the data that's the original data and this is the result that we get when apply the pivot and then the unpivot operator look at that for David India I got only one row okay I didn't get two rows but in our original result set David India 960 David India 100 but when I apply pivot and then when I apply unpivot after that I only get one row for David and country India okay so in this case when the data is aggregated we are not able to get the original data back when we apply the unpivot operator why is that that's because SQL Server in this case has no idea on how to undo that aggregation that's the reason thank you for listening and have a great day